concludes my presentation. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> they might send me home if I do that. Uh, that's not one. That's a design and see. Yeah, can you hear me out there? Yeah. Uh, thank you very much, Dr. Underwood. I have been introduced uh, many times to yours. Generous introduction. Um, this morning I was in Greece, I, but it's the, that is the second best uh, introduction I have ever received. The best one was last year when I spoke in a university in the Philippines where they published my name and my picture in the newspaper. And I was very flattered until I saw the page that it was on. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least they expressed the sympathy for me. <laughs> I am going to tell you a series of stories, in fact. Um, one is the story of this man who will show you shortly. Then I will tell you the story of the Philippines. Uh, I will not, in fact, talk about the design and see too much, just as an example. Uh, I, will not, I will be talking something more basic. Uh, you know me? You know me, sir? You know me, sir? Sir, you know me? Yeah, handsome guy. That is how he looks like when he's a little older. Yeah, you probably don't know him because he was my grandfather. <laughs> yeah, at the age of eight, yeah, at the age of eighty-two he died and he left a will. Uh, his lawyer called me and said, you know, your grandfather liked you very much, loved you very much. He left you a will, which is now the equivalent of with an inheritance the equivalent of about ten million dollars in today's money. So I was very happy I deposited it in the bank. Uh, but the injunction was that I would only spend the interest but not the capital. So good. I uh, deposited the bank, I withdrew a million pesos, a million dollars the next uh, the day after. I invited all my friends, squandered it in the casino. <laughs> and then uh, the day after, I withdrew another million. The day after, I withdrew another million. And then nine and a half days later, there was only 500,000 left. Yeah. So what he accumulated, he saved up in the matter of 32 years. I squandered in the matter less than 10 days. But that is not bad enough. What's even worse was that I go back to my accounting books and I tell my accountant to record all my losses and all my expenses as income, as profit. Is that correct? Who's an economist here? I see you shaking your hand, shaking your head. Of course, it's not correct. But my friends, is that not what we have been doing to the Earth? The Earth has takes them four and a half billion years to become what it is. It is composed of the delicate mixture of the elements of life, black air and water. Man has been around for what, 100,000 years or so, the Homo sapiens sapiens species. Life, they say, for 300, about 600 million years. Human civilization, about 7,000, 10,000 years old. And then, industrial revolution happened 200 years ago, barely. That started the era when we, that marked the era when we started using the natural resources faster than the resources of life. When we started using the capital instead of using the interest. So, by the way, what is the environment? Yes, somebody here is in charge of the environment or the Marianas. Hey, this is a quick question. Where is the microphone? You know, I teach in the University of the Philippines College of Law, and we have recitation periods. <laughs> so this is going to be a recitation if you take. <laughs> and then the president is going to grade you. <laughs> so what is the environment? You see, in Filipino, I don't know if it's Zamoro, the word environment is not agriculture. In the Philippines, we call it kalikasan, nature. The problem with the word environment is that it does not sink in too much into the heart. Difficult enough to, you know, we think of it as the surrounding. Well, it is not the surrounding. It is not about the birds and the bees and the flowers and the trees. That is why people like us, Mom, do you drink water? Huh? Do you eat water? Of course. 
Do you agree? Of course. Then all of us are the to this. It is not about the birds and the bees and the flowers and the trees, but that it is about life and the sources of life, of land, air, and water. If you want a little the acronym is equal to number, the mnemonic is LPW. Where the trees in the forest are the heart and the lungs of the earth, we breathe because there are trees. They exhale oxygen. Where the land and the soil is the skin and the flesh of the earth from whence we get our food. And the sea and the waterways are the blood and blood streams of life. That is why. You know, the numbers even work out very nicely. 70% of the human body and 70% of the earth is made up of salty water. But applying that mindset of extraction, of using the capital, we cut down trees that have taken all natural history to form. We cut them down, and then we call them income. We call them revenue. We call them contribution to cross national product. Same thing with the fish. Such that we've taken out 90%. And I'm not the one saying this. I'm, you know, you're the marine scientist. I just picked this up. And then we call it contribution to cross national product. We burn fossil fuels that took 100, 200 million years to form, burn them in our cars, in our fuel burn them in our, to make electricity, and then we call it progress. Now we're facing the impact of climate change as a result of our excessive burning. Same thing with water. We use it, we use it up, and then that which we cannot use, we throw it away, and then we even dirty the remaining fresh waters. And then we call it progress. Look at that. This is a, maybe you're right. What do we Filipinos have to say about the environment? That is what we did to our sea. That is what we did to our rivers. Instead of fishing for fish, we're fishing garbage. I have a little sketch for you. I have a little name here. Which is more valuable? This one? Or this piece of one carat gold? Our 20 carat gold and one carat diamond? The water. It is more valuable. It's a no-brainer. But what is more expensive? This one carat diamond or this water? Which is more expensive? This one. That's called the paradox of diamond and water. Things that are useless as far as life is concerned to value and put at a higher price than things which are valuable are so valuable to life. Britain. The United States, as they develop economies. Sir, I see you are from the Philippines. This Britain, Japan, etc., as they develop economies. That's why we copy their paradigm of development. We like to have cars, we like to have all these things that are marked for development. Their development is based on consumption patterns. Consumption uh, the, the synonym of consumption, those of you who like the English language, is waste. Another synonym, of course, is tuberculosis. We call them highly, they are actually highly consuming economies. They consume a lot of energy, a lot of water. Some of my best friends are from the United States. And uh, 5%, 4.5% of the human population consumes 30% of the world's resources. That's not, that's, but he said that is not bad enough. But what is even worse is that the whole world is trying to copy that lifestyle. And that has become our model of development. Such that if